I'm Dr. Tracy, and this is kind of a weird angle, but I don't have anyone holding my camera. It's just propped up. So we're going to try to make this work. Tonight, I'd like to demonstrate what a quilt and a polo is and what it means to sweat your horse's leg. We frequently prescribe sweating if there's any kind of cellulitis or infection, and people are like, what are you talking about? So I'm going to demonstrate that. This is Caro. And I'm not actually going to sweat her leg. This is nitrofurazone. It's actually kind of the yellow goopy medicine. You can usually find this at vet clinics, farm stores. It's not a prescription, but it is a drug we need to be careful with. This has antibacterial properties and it's been shown to cause mammary cancers in mice. You're not a mouse, but hey, let's be careful when we use it. We should be using gloves. I'm not going to use it today, but my favorite combination to sweat a leg is equal parts nitrofurazone, DMSO, which I don't have in front of me, and anthocyte dewormer, which can kind of be hard to find sometimes. That's an old fashioned dewormer, but that one also has antimicrobial properties. And honestly, sometimes skin infection can involve larval migraines. Yeah, that's my cats. So I find a separate container, I mix equal spots, a couple tablespoons of each, stir it up, and that is my sweat. So this is how I apply it. I'll take my sweat and I'll put it and rub it in and get the leg all sticky and full of the sweat everywhere where there is swelling that I want this to work. And then, plastic wrap. This is actually an OB sleeve that I cut up but a really effective plastic wrap is just saran wrap. This is actually really critical to help bring up some heat in that leg, and it also drives the medicine into the leg. So our second step, remember, she's pretend lubed up. Yeah. If I am going to layer the saran wrap, and hey, make sure your horse is good with, with plastic. And it, it works better when there's actually sticky stuff to hold the plastic. And the next thing I'm going to grab is a quilt. This is a cotton quilt. I'm going to get it on her leg and then I'll show it to you. Here, by her. It's okay if a little of the plastic comes out. We're going to wrap that around her leg. That's a quilt. And then I'm going to secure it with a polo, a fleece polo wrap. And we're just gonna overlap that polo wrap, go down her leg, and then go back up. Now this is how I would bandage for like a fetlock or a cannon bone sweat. If you need to get lower, you can just move everything down. These usually have Velcro to tab it, but duct tape works too. So I'd like to show you the quilt in the polo. This is a cotton quilt. You can buy these at farm stores. You can buy them off Valley Vet Supply. They're usually about 20 bucks for a pack of four. Honestly, you should have this in your emergency kit. I have a ton of them. They're 100% cotton. You can bleach them, you can wash them. Often you can use them one side than the other in case they get gross. And they're not gonna fill the landfill. And this is a fleece polo. A lot of people have these. I don't know how many feet that is. It's a lot. Just remember, when you go to roll them up, you want your Velcro on the, the inside. That should be the start that you roll. So I'm sure you're wondering, okay, she's escaping. Care Bear! I'm sure you're wondering, well, how do I sweat a leg if it's up higher, if it's above the knee? Well, you can stack these polos. Okay, I just did a really cruddy job of rolling that. Let me try again. So how you would stack this leg, for example, would be you'd have your polo all ready to go. You'd be putting your medicine right here. You wouldn't necessarily need to put your saran wrap here and your goof, especially if the wound is up here or the swelling. This is actually a common spot of cellulitis. Horses get into barbed wire or something. So you would just overlap this. So the 
amount of tension I recommend is a firm handshake. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. Now, this is gonna slip, and that's okay. Our general rule of thumb with a medicated sweat, meaning nitrofurazone, anthocyanin, and DMSO, is gonna be 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and 12 hours on. So that's just a way to stack quilts and polos. It's a little harder to do on the back side. I'm not gonna demonstrate that right now, but that is an option. So things I don't want you to put under a saran wrap sweat is liniment. Now I love menthol liniment, but it doesn't go under a sweat. The only thing I feel comfortable putting under a sweat that is like a over-the-counter purchase liniment is going to be the Draw It Out product, which basically is a mineral magnesium based. Um, that's pretty safe stuff. So that is a sweat and that is how you apply quilts and polos. Hope this helps.